Another demonstration calling for political reform and the release of political prisoners in Bahrain. The International Federation for Human Rights reports that around 250 prisoners started a hunger strike on January the 29th. It's been almost exactly a year since Shia-led protests and the subsequent crackdown by Bahrain's Sunni rulers began. The government says it's listening to the protesters' demands. King Hamad last month announced extra parliamentary powers of scrutiny over the government, but the opposition said the announcement was full of, quote, insignificant trivia and a long way from their demands for a constitutional monarchy. Clashes have got worse in the build-up to what protesters call an anniversary commemorating when the protests started. Small-scale demonstrations happen virtually every night in the neighbourhoods close to the capital, Manama. But analysts say there are now signs of splinter groups resorting to more violent means of protest. They also say there are increasingly violent clashes between some protesters and groups of pro-government supporters. In January, the trial began of five police officers implicated in the death of an activist in custody. But rights groups say at least 60 people have been killed since the protests began. The Bahrain Centre for Human Rights says two people died due to tear gas inhalation on February the 1st. A year since thousands of Bahrain's majority Shia population took to the streets, demanding a greater say in their future, there is still little sign their real demands will be met. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.